Russia, a vast, mighty, and mystical land, land of our people, land of fate, of might and splendor, land of suffering and death, land of happiness, land of the Russians. Prior to the emergence of Kievan Rus in 19th century AD, the lands between the Baltic Sea and the Black Sea were primarily populated by Eastern Slavic tribes, along with some Finno Greek peoples on Siberian frontier. Controversy persists over whether the Rus were Varangians or Slavs. Ethnic origins of the Rus are disputed. Historic consensus views them as Norsemen, Scandinavians, who formed the elite ruling class of the Russian realm, but who also assimilated into the Slavic subjects rather quickly. According to the primary chronicle, the territories of the East Slavs in the 9th century were divided between the Varangians and the Khazars. The Varangians are first mentioned in imposing tribute from Slavic and Finnic tribes in 859. In 862, the Finnic and the Slavic tribes in the area of Novgorod rebelled against the Varangians, driving them back beyond the sea and refusing them further tributes and set out to govern themselves. The tribes had no laws, however, and soon began to make war with one another, prompting them to invite the Varangians back to rule them and bring peace to the region. They said so themselves, let us seek a prince who may rule over us and judge us according to the law. They accordingly went overseas to the Varangian Rus and asked them, Our land is great and rich, but there is no order in it. Come to rule and reign over us. Thus, they selected three brothers with their kinfolk, who took with them all the Rus and migrated. The Primary Chronicle The three brothers, Rurik, Sinius, and Truor, established themselves in Novgorod, Belozero and Izborsk, respectively. Two of the brothers died, and Rurik became the sole ruler of the territory and progenitor of the Rurik dynasty. A short time later, two of Rurik's men, Askold and Dir, asked him the permission to go to Zargrad. On their way south, they discovered a small city on a hill, Kiev, and captured it and the surrounding country from Khazars populated the region with more Varangians and established their dominion over the country of Polyanians. The Chronicle reports that Askold and Dir continued to Constantinople with the navy to attack the city in 863-66 catching the Byzantines by surprise and ravaging the surrounding area, though other accounts date the attack in 860. By all accounts, the attack was devastating. The Rus turned back before attacking the city itself. Due to combined factors of a bad weather on the sea and the return of the Emperor's host, the attack was the first encounter between the Rus and the Byzantines and led the Patriarch to send missionaries north to engage and attempt to convert the Rus and the Slavs. Foundation of the Russian state Rurik led the Rus until his death about 879, bequeathing his kingdom to his kinsman, Prince Oleg, as regent for his young son, Igor. 
In 880, Oleg led a military force south along the Dnieper River, capturing Smolensk and Lubech before reaching Kiev, where he deposed and killed Askold and Dyr, proclaimed himself prince and declared Kiev the mother of Rus cities. Oleg set about consolidating his power over the surrounding region and the riverways north to Novgorod, imposing tribute on the eastern Slavic tribes. In 883, he conquered the Derevlians, imposing a fur tribute on them. By 885, he had subjugated the Poliani, Severiani, and Vyatchi, and Radimichs, forbidding them to pay further tribute to Khazars. Oleg continued to develop and expand the network of Rus forts in Slav lands, began by Rurik in the north. Early foreign relations, volatile steppe politics. In around 890, Oleg waged an indecisive war in the lands of Lower Dniester and Dnieper rivers with the Tuertsi and the Ulichs, who were likely acting as vassals of the Magyars blocking Rus access to the Black Sea. In 894, the Magyars and Pechenegs were drawn into the wars between the Byzantines and the Bulgarian Empire. The Byzantines arranged for the Magyars to attack Bulgarian territory from the north, and Bulgaria in turn persuaded the Pechenegs to attack the Magyars from the rear. Back then, the Magyars were forced to migrate further west across the Carpathian Mountains into the Hungarian plain depriving the Khazars of an important ally and a buffer from the Rus. The migration of Magyars allowed the Rus access to the Black Sea, and they soon launched excursion into Khazar territory along the sea coast, up the Don River and into the lower Volga region. Relations with the Eastern Rome After the Rus' attack on Constantinople in 860, the Byzantine patriarch Photius sent missionaries north to convert the Rus and the Slavs. Prince Rastislav of Moravia had requested the emperor to provide teachers to interpret the holy scriptures. So in 863, the brothers Cyril and Methodius were sent as missionaries. Due to their knowledge of the Slavonic language, the Slavs had no written language. So the brothers devised a Glogalitic alphabet, later developed into Cyrillic and standardized the language of the Slavs, later known as Old Church Slavonic. They translated portions of the Bible and drafted the first Slavic civil code and other documents, and the language and the texts spread through the Slavic territories, including Kievan Rus. The mission of Cyril and Methodius served both evangelical and diplomatic purposes, spreading Byzantine cultural influence. Russians attacked Byzantium several times over complex trading and economical matters. In 941, Igor led another major Rus attack on Constantinople, probably over trading rights again. A navy of 10,000 vessels, including Pechenegg allies, landed on Bithynian coast and devastated the Asiatic shore of Bosphorus. The attack had a very good timing perhaps due to the intelligence, as the Byzantine fleet was occupied with the Arabs in the Mediterranean, and the bulk of its army was stationed in the east. The Rus burnt towns, churches, monasteries, butchering the people and amassing the booty. The emperor arranged a small group of retired ships to be outfitted with Greek fire throwers and sent them to meet out the Rus. Some sank, weighing down by the weight of their breastplates and helmets, Others caught fire. Those captured were beheaded. The ploy dispelled the Rus' fleet. Igor returned to Kiev, keen for revenge. He assembled a large force of warriors from among neighboring Slavs and Pechenegg allies and sent for reinforcements of Varangians from beyond the sea. In 944, the Rus' force advanced again on the Greeks by land and the sea, and the Byzantine force from Kherson responded. No large battle ensued, as Greeks and Rus came to an understanding, albeit less favorable to Rus.